Here's a short video about how you can forge oyster mushrooms and turn them into something delicious. Oyster mushrooms are perfect for new foragers because they're easy to find and there are basically no poisonous lookalikes. The fungi is prized for its subtle seafood flavor and silky texture. You can usually spot oyster mushrooms by looking for flashes of white in dead hardwood trees within low-lying forests. You can easily identify these because they have long gills, short nubby stems, and smell faintly of anise. Oyster mushrooms are amazing in pasta, so today we're making a simple mushroom ragu with fragrant aromatics, fresh herbs, and crisp white wine. Here is what I'm using. About two pounds of cleaned oyster mushrooms along with a few chanterelles I found on the trail, two garlic cloves, one shallot, one cup veggie stock, two tablespoons of flour, one cup white wine, half cup of Parmesan cheese, which I'll grate later, two tablespoons of butter, and a handful of fresh herbs. First, I mince the garlic and the shallot, and then I roughly chop the herbs, after which I slice the oyster mushrooms not too thinly so I can still enjoy the texture. I start the cooking process by adding the mushrooms to two tablespoons of butter. They will release a lot of water, which I evaporate out. I continue cooking until I hear a nice sizzle and start to see a little browning. Setting the mushrooms aside for a second, I saute the onions and garlic in two tablespoons of butter and then stir in some flour and cook for about three minutes. When that's done, I add one cup of white wine and one cup of stock. I'm using veggie stock, but seafood would work here as well. Now I re-add the mushrooms, toss in the fresh herbs, and finally add some fresh paparadelle pasta. You can use whatever noodles you like here. Finally, I plate it all up and dust it off with some fresh parmesan. I always get tons of compliments on this pasta and it feels great to cook with fresh forest ingredients. Thanks for watching my video. I'm still pretty new at video making, so please drop a comment and let me know how I can improve.